Hi there, this is Liam from Collab. It's gonna be a quick video showing how you can use Collab to take part of your design review process that is currently synchronous. So thanks everyone sitting in a meeting, perhaps on a Teams call, spinning a model, and move that towards something that is asynchronous. So give everybody access to the engineering data where they can go through and review it on their own time. You know, leave comments, start to work through issues with the team. So when it does come time to get everybody together and do that meeting, perhaps maybe that meeting's not needed nearly as often, or when you do get together, you're focusing on the high priority issues that everybody's already identified by working through that content on their own time. In-person meetings are great, but as we know, they can be really challenging for a number of reasons. Engineering teams today are distributed all across the world. So someone's getting up really early or someone's staying up very late or people's calendars are, are totally block full. And uh, a conversation that you could be having today has to happen a week from now because you just can't get time to get everybody together to have that conversation. So I'll show you how Collab can, can help speed up that process by moving these design discussions to an asynchronous process to have them uh, earlier. So this is gonna be super straightforward. The first part is gonna be, let's get a file into Collab and kick off a review, show you how easy it is to just kick off this process. And then we're, we will spend the, the bulk of our time is what does it actually look like to go through and complete a design review? So with that, Let's jump into number one, requesting a review. And so switching over into Collab, as you can tell, I'm still in my web browser. Collab is a web-based tool. So as we think about making this easy for everyone to participate, all you need is access to the internet in a web browser, no downloads required, which is a key part to that first step of making it easy. So let's get a file into Collab. There's two ways that you can do this. The first one here is simply uploading it directly to the web interface. That's what I'll do here but it is good to know that we do have integrations with um, PLM software. So if that's where your engineering team is working in their day-to-day, -day, we will make it easy for them, you know, meet them where they are, send that assembly over in uh, Collab directly from their PLM. And with that, let's pull in a drawing here and kick off a drawing review. Step two, we'll look at a model, start here on drawing, uh, take this brake caliper assembly, for example. And so with that, very easily uploaded this file into Collab. And now I want to kick off that review process. Top right-hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and say request a review. And this review could be anything. It could be, uh, you know, uh, a stage gate where I'm pulling in people from across the organization down to something as simple as a, a quick peer check on this drawing. I'm going to invite uh, that person that it's hard to get a hold of. Perhaps in this case, let's pull in, you know, Pam Beasley. She's a, you know, very busy gal here at Collab. So it's hard to get an hour of time for us to review this drawing. So I'm gonna kick it over to her in Collab and she can review that whenever she has time. Next, I'm gonna add a due date, let her know when I need this done by, perhaps it's Tuesday. And I'll also add a drawing review checklist as well for her to complete. And with that, I've kicked off this design review process. Very super simple, very straightforward. And with that, we can see this review panel starting to get built out. In our next example, we'll, we'll see how important this is for getting up to speed with what has happened so far. That's number one, very easy, went ahead, uploaded a file into Collab and requested that review. Now let's jump into step two of what does it actually look like to go ahead and complete a design review? So when I kick that off, Pam's getting an email notification as well as in-app notifications, letting her know what is expected of her. She's been assigned to a review. And here's an example of what that looks like. In this case, I've been assigned to a review Phil Dunphy has added me to review um, this automotive chassis. And I can go ahead and from my email, I'm a single click away from being brought directly to that file and directly to that review in Collab. So again, making it easy for people to participate in multiple reviews. They don't have to go hunt down the files and all the information around this review. It's all brought in one place for them, a single click away. And so now jumping into this review cold, one place for me to get up to speed in terms of who was involved and what has happened so far. Looking on the right-hand side here, I can see that, so this is a cross-functional alignment review. We're bringing in some people from some different teams across the org. We have Pam, myself, as well as Adam, and we can see that this was kicked off by Phil. Again, I can see that Pam's already come in here, has two pieces of feedback that we haven't worked through yet. She's actually also requested changes on this review, which is why we can see this review is sitting in a status of you know, revisions are currently being requested. I can see that Adam actually hasn't come in here yet, and of course, neither have I. And so with that, let's let's start to dig in for myself. A great thing here is I have hands-on access to that 3D CAD data directly into my web browser. 
I don't need to have access to the PLM or have you know a, a SolWorks or a Creo license. Uh, everything is directly here, everything that I need. And this is a fully capable 3D viewer. I can isolate components, explode the model, take section views, take measurements, whatever I need to do to be able to dig in to the model. And so for example, I'm gonna come in now and let's take a measurement and perhaps call out an issue. I'll measure this edge. Perhaps this was supposed to be eight inches and I need to now communicate that to that to the team. Instead of taking a screenshot and having that live somewhere else where it's you know up to interpretation to figure out where on the model this screenshot represents and perhaps get confused and lead to another one of those instances where you need to try and get on a call with somebody to try and figure out what the heck you're talking about. In Collab, what we're gonna do is use this pin tool, top left hand corner. And I'm just gonna place a pin directly on the model calling out where I see my issue. I can also go ahead and perhaps do some markup, uh, take the pen tool, you know, scribble anything that I need to help communicate this issue to the team. In this case, I'll say change to eight inches as discussed, put the spec change. I can go ahead and create that issue as easy as that. What we'll see is that that issue is actually starting to build out that activity feed that we saw up earlier. This is where someone else can come in see that issue that I've created. And also I can go through and see what issues other folks have left. So we think about getting one place to have easy access to all the information around this design review. Here's one of the great home bases to do that. So I can use this to get up to speed with, you know, what issues has Pam identified when she came in here before me. All I have to do is click that card. I'm brought exactly to the place on the model that Pam identified this issue. We can see that she's also, you know, gone ahead and added in some simulation results as some supporting material to this issue that she's calling out. And again, this isn't a static screenshot. If I need to figure out where this is on the model, this is all live. I can zoom out, move around, perhaps take some more measurements on this area of the model and really start to dig in. And so perhaps now I want to start to move this issue that Pam identified through a life cycle. Let's take uh, another example here. You know, she said this measurement was incorrect. I'm going to start to dig into the details of this issue. We have a discussion thread for it where I can start to follow up with the team and create some uh, discussion around what we're doing about this issue. I'll say a great call. Let's make this change. I can start to assign team members to this issue. Again, working through the issues that are coming up on our own time. I'll assign, uh, in this case, Adam. So Adam hasn't jumped into this review yet, as we saw earlier. So when he comes in, not only is he going to be doing his review, but he'll see that some issues have already been assigned to him as well. I can start to move this issue through its, uh, its life cycle. We'll say that it's in progress and it's high priority. So again, thinking back to maybe we do do an in-person meeting for this, we'll be able to come in and filter for, show me the high priority issues that we've identified so far. And this issue that Pam left, it's going to be, you know, top of the agenda for that meeting we do have. Um, because we know that this is a high priority issue and that in-person meeting is already becoming more effective because we took time to do this review in collab. Last thing that I want to do here is go ahead and submit my review just like Pam did. Top right hand corner, very easy. I'm going to say submit my review. Now I have the option to say, you know, what is that final decision for me? Am I requesting changes or am I approving? In this case, I called out that we needed to change that part to eight inches. So I am also going to go ahead and request changes. The owner of this review, Phil, now has a very clear understanding of what have the reviewers said about you know, this file. Liam also requested changes. Pam requested changes. Here are the piece of feedback, pieces of feedback that we need to see changed, all in the context of the model. Easy to start actioning and know what we're talking about. And with that, that's uh, you know, the, the basis of an asynchronous design review in Colab. Happy to show, uh, you know, how this feeds into the rest of the automation system. Where does this, you know, right now we're looking at one file, one review. How does this work with perhaps hundreds of files, hundreds of pieces of feedback? Colab has lots to offer to help you manage, organize, and identify trends across all the issues that are coming up across your reviews, as well as some really interesting permission controls if you want to take this process and apply it to working with uh, someone externally, perhaps a supplier, perhaps a customer. We're going to give you fine grain controls in terms of what files and what piece of feedback do those external teams have access to while also all rolling it back into one place to give you that same feeling of, you know, all the issues all in one place, 
all in the context of the model. Hopefully this was helpful uh, and look forward to hearing from you. Uh, and that's it. Thank you.